Hey people of the world and here's another video of a let's talk which I'm going to do and today it's going to be on foundation when I, my, like, when I look at this I've got a camera on top of the laptop so I look at the camera and then I also look at the screen so I'm like that so if you're wondering why my eyes are going berserk that's the reason why okay right so let's begin so I've got all different types of foundation here what I've been collecting over the years and I think I've got about 11, 12 all together here for now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to share with you what reviews I've got on makeup, what I've, you know, for my skin. Normally I have quite dry skin, um, so yeah. So when it's payday, I just tend to buy a foundation for no really real reason. So yeah, um, I'm just going to do a review on the ones I have, and that's about it. Okay, so let's start with Wake Me Up by Rimmel London. Now, I find this one, it's supposed to be, I have this in 103 True Ivory. Now, I find this foundation, find it quite thick. But, I quite like the finished effect of it. I won't say it's like my favourite, but um, overall it's good. What would I rate it out of 10? I would rate it probably 6.5 out of 10, which is, yeah, I quite like it. I think it's, um, on my skin, it's really good to um, build up. And, yeah, so that's that one. Um, the packaging, what do I think about the packaging? I like the bottle. I like that it's got Rimmel on the side there. Um, I like the shape of the bottle. Overall, yeah, it's, uh, it's all right. Okay, so that's that one. Let's put in there. Next one is a Maybelline Superstay 24. I've got this in 010 Ivory. SPF 19. What was the SPF on this one? SPF 15 on that Wake Me Up one. Um, so this one's um, Microflex Formula Flawless Fresh Foundation for Normal Skin. Now this one's okay not the best one I just use it for work you know just it's just there packaging it's not great it's just it's just a sticker on a bottle um yeah it, it's not a bad foundation I'm not sure on the prices of these some of them are quite old so it's just yeah they're just there um so yeah it's, it's okay what would I rate it out of 10 I would rate this a 4 4 out of 10 not bad it's just it's, just, it's all right um next one is i want up some down maybelline superstay better skin spf 20 and i have this in zero zero light beige even skin tone instantly better looking skin in three weeks now this i don't think there's i don't know oh, there is some in it this one now i really like this one this one is probably one of my favorite ones i've got um what Normally I do use it, but I think this shade is a bit too light for me. My friend's mum, she works at Superdrug, so sometimes she gives me makeup, and I'm like, yeah. Um, so I did have one previous to this, and it was in a different shade. It was it was my shade. Um, so this one's a bit light for me, but I will sometimes wear it. I'm not gonna waste it. Uh, this one's very good at building skin and I just like it, it didn't feel heavy on skin, that's another thing I hate with foundation when it feels like really heavy on skin, it really is fucking annoying. Um, yeah, I like the, the way this felt on my skin and although I've got like dry skin, I didn't get dry patches or anything. So yeah, that one I would probably rate an 8 out of 10 because I quite like that. The packaging isn't, you know, it's not great but you know you're paying quite a reasonable price for stuff like that. The camera's freezing already because the laptop's crap so I apologise for that. Um, it's like as soon as you turn this laptop on, you've just got to record. I can't even click record. Because if not, it really spazzes out on you. Yeah, so that's that one done. Now, this one L'Oreal Paris New Magic Easy Tint Fresh Feel Foundation Weightless Bare Perfection SPF 18. What did I think of this one? I like the packaging, but it's very um, watery. It's a very watery foundation, you've got to like that. And um, it's quite light on the skin. I like the purple of it on thing. SPF 18, that's not bad. It doesn't last on my skin. It didn't last at all. 
Really, it's like... I don't think any of these foundations would last through humidity. I haven't found one that actually does. But, I mean, the L'Oreal ones, they do, st they do stay, but if it's like Japanese summers, like I stated in another video, I don't think they'd last. So, yeah, there's that one. I want to rate this out of 10, probably 7 out of 10. No, it's yeah, six and a half, six and a half out of ten because I don't really wear it a lot. Because it, it I just I don't I don't feel like it's like covering anything really. What coverage you want? I like probably medium. I think that's very light coverage. So it's all right if you just snip into the shops or something. Like I sometimes would use it for work, but normally medium coverage. I don't know why, really. Okay, next one. Right, where do we go? I'm sure everybody can remember these. Maybelline Dream Nude Air Form. Like, these were the thing when I was in high school. And you can get the liquid one. I did, I did have that, but yeah, seized up many years ago. This one I only got <laughs> not long ago. I just got it because I was like, oh, I remember that. But, mm, do I like it? No, it's friggin' dry and it's like this on your skin. Let's check it out, right? It's like, that. it's like, yeah, it's just not good, is it? I don't want to be putting that shit on my face. I'm going to wipe it on the bottle. I'll leave it over there. Um, the packaging is cheap. I don't like the packaging at all. Um, it dries my skin out really easily, so I have dry patches on my face. Um, it's okay just to wear around the house, I suppose. Put that over there, it's like leaking everywhere. Oops, shouldn't have done that. But oh well. Um, it's just, it just dries to the face. I don't really like it. It, feel, it doesn't even feel nice on the skin, so bleh. it's alright if you were like a teeny bopper at school. It's like now, it's like, no. Go out and get like one of these. <laughs> or, 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 you wouldn't use it again. The liquid or the one that you have to it is a, it's a lot better than that. But that one's. It's not good, is it, really? So let's rate that, probably give it a benefit of the doubt. Let's give it a three, because it's not the worst in the world, but it's not the greatest. So, yeah. Let's move on, shall we? Let's move on. This one is Bourjois. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bourjois Happy Light Foundation. Packaging on this is very basic. I like the coral colour, I suppose. What's this one? This one got an SPF. Must have an SPF on it. Um, was it 16 hour? No, don't know. It, it doesn't actually say. But it's hydration. Do I like this one? Um, I think Bourjois is probably my favourite. When I go into town, normally I will buy Bourjois stuff. I don't know. It just it's because it's just there, and I just I just like it. I don't I don't really know why. Um, yeah, I'm currently wear the, I currently wear this for work at the moment because I just I just, I've got to use them up. I really have to use them up. So yeah, I'm currently using this one. It stays on my face all day, and I'm quite hot blooded. So as soon as I get in work, I'm just like hot because I I get a lift quite a lot and I'm I walk like at least ten miles every day at work. I know it's crazy, um. But yeah, this seems to last through it. I don't think it'd last through Japanese summers. If you know a mate, um, foundation that does, then you should let me know because. I can't find one yet. Um, yeah, it's it's a good foundation. It's I'd say about medium coverage. Not like it's not like a heavy medium. It's like a light medium. If you get what I mean, it's not it's not overpowering. Um, yeah, would I buy it again? I probably would buy it again. I quite I quite enjoy it. Yeah, it feels nice on the face, smooth and that, and it didn't it didn't affect my dry skin. So yeah, I quite like that one. Okay, here's another bourgeois one while we're on the bourgeois one. This is um another bourgeois one while we're on the bourgeois one. Another bourgeois one while we're on the bourgeois trail. This is out now, I think it's like 10 99 because I did get this not long ago. It's one, two, three, perfect. It's yellow pigments. Mm, how do you spell it? M spell it, say it's mauve, mauve, whatever. Andy Dole complexion, green pigments, so yeah, it has the, like the one, two, three. I'm sure you've seen this in shops. Um I do wear this for going out. It hasn't. Has it got an SPF on it? I don't. I can't. SPF 10, so it's not really great on SPF, but it is coming into a winter. 
I would prefer a high SPF on things like these foundations are quite that's quite low but you can't you can't have everything it feels nice on my skin it doesn't my skin doesn't go all dry and stupid it's I think it's a nice foundation I quite like it oh did I rate this out of 10 I didn't did I this is the previous one happy light I rate that probably um, 7 out of 10 for that one this one I would rate an 8 out of 10 because I, I do quite like it it's not like you know you put it on you look like a bloody airbrush barbie doll but it is it is a nice um, foundation just for going out and that um, 10.99 I think is a bit steep but um, I don't really spend a lot on foundation in, in, anyway because I'm skanky I mean I could we could all go out and get high price foundation couldn't we but I don't think it makes any difference I haven't seen unless you go to, like to Primark and get Primark pound foundation not really much difference in the lot I don't think it's just you're paying for the name okay now this one is pore minimizer SPF 15 light to medium Olay CC cream well I don't know the difference between CC and BB creams I'll be honest so yeah enlighten me um, is this one alright? Yeah, but it doesn't look like there's anything on my skin when I put it on. It feels nice, I didn't, but I always say, um, total effect 7. It's like you're putting nothing on, I'll be honest, it's watery again. It's okay to just wear around the house, but to be, f to be fair, from around the house, I'm not going to put any shit on, so it's just there. I'll probably use it up for work again, like, you know, all of them. So, yeah, that's just uh, how much would I rate this out of 10? Um, six. To call it six. <laughs> I don't think there's any tens here. To be fair. <laughs> to be f right. This one. Avon Ideal Flawless BB Skin Loving Beauty Balm. There we go. SPF 15. That one has an SPF on it. Yeah, that has same SPF. Now, this is a BB cream. I just had a CC cream, so yeah. I've got this one today. Out. I don't like the way it feels on my skin. Uh, it's. You can tell you've got something on. But I don't, I don't really like it. The packaging's cheap, like I stated in probably my previous few videos, because I've got one coming on. It's not on yet, but it will be by the time you watch this. Um, I just don't. It's like, Avon, what were you thinking? It's just, it just looks like some cheap shit. It's the same packaging that probably Primark or anybody use. So how much would I rate that? I'd rate that only a four. I'm really, I don't really like it. It's using up using all the shit up okay now let's go on to this now this you're like thinking what the fuck is this but this is a double wear who is it by I should Estee Lauder that's it I've forgotten it yeah so I got this on eBay and I was matched up and I have the color bone there's loads of different colors if you get matched up a big department store you can get um, a little tester and that will last you a week so yeah I'd go get some testers you know try it out you can get it for all like the main makeup brands so I would recommend getting some I'm gonna go get some more um, so you can test it out um, now why did I get this because I went and got my makeup done and I also got tested out for a bit and the way she did it, it was really nice on my skin and I was really impressed by it um, and it also said you know when you, you go to the toilet in like a department store and they've got like on the back of the door they've got like an advertisement and I read one and it said that it would last for your humidity double way it will not come off your face you can go swimming you can go whatever and it just will not come off your face so I was like oh that, you know that's brilliant because I am going to Japan in the summer and I've been warned that it's really hot so I was like I, got, I need a foundation I did and it's I think it's full coverage so I got this, you know, going all out and everything. And um, when I put it on my face, I was putting it on like with my hands, and then I was putting it on with a brush, and I absolutely despised it. I hated it. Um, and then I, when I got a sponge, I know last in line to get a sponge, it goes on a lot easier. It does. It does look nice on but it sticks to your face I don't like how it feels on uh, it feels like it's completely blocking up everything on my face and as soon as you put it on your face it's sticky I don't think it's very buildable 
because it's down my bridge in my nose it kept coming off and it, so I um, will put a bit on and then dab it with the um, br brush yeah it'll be a brush or a sponge that I've been using and you could just tell it's like everything's dried and then you put another bit on so it's lighter on it and it was really annoying um, so yeah I wasn't impressed with that I still do wear it for like going out for meals and that because it does last but in Japanese humidity it, yeah, I, I came back with patches on my face it came off so yeah Estee Lauder the double wear does not last in Japanese summers so I'm still finding something so you say it lasts in all humidity and that and you know quite high humidity and it doesn't it doesn't not 80% humidity and 30 out Celsius so you're lying um yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't feel nice on the face to me it doesn't everybody's got their own opinions on this and some people love it I know there's a lot of people buying it and I know it's you know probably in the top 10 for overall foundations because a lot of people buy it I think it's expensive for what it is I don't know why I pay 60 quid for this but I'm still I've still got over half a bottle left there's loads in there it's, you don't need to use a lot um SPF 10 it's really low on SPF but no I don't I think it's it just is a sticky on the face and it's really annoying so yeah what would I rate this out of 10 I give it a 7 7 8 out of 10 7 and a half let's go 7 and a half because it's it's it looks okay on but after you put your powder in that it just it's just feel, you feel like you've got like a layer that like this thick on and I don't like that feeling so yeah it's double wear that's my opinion on double wear okay now we've got this which is a magic cushion and I've forgotten the name for this oh yeah miss her and this is a Japanese brand now they've got these coming out in the UK so I got this when I was there and yeah it's just like well, it's like that and then after I've, I've done this in a previous video that's your foundation oh shit that's your foundation in there dab it you know put it all over have a good time did it um what do I think of that that's it's okay I don't, I, it's, it is buildable you can build on it you can build um I don't like it after you put your powder on I don't like when you set it SPF 50 plus so it is brilliant for Japan hence why it came from Japan it's it's nice I won't say it gives you a flawless fi um, finish but it's not bad I would rate this probably a 8 out of 10 it's cool I don't know what the price range I think it's probably it's under 10 pounds I do know that because of the yeah right this one here is a chifure 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 I don't know if that's right but yeah it's a BB cream SPF 27 this is my favorite I got this from Japan and it's a BB cream but it is I don't I I don't know really the difference but it's I'd say it's medium coverage and I always wear this when normally I am going out and stuff it's buildable it's nice on the skin you can put um, powder on and it doesn't clog up it's just overall Amy's favourite and I do want some more I think if I went to Japan it would be this all the time it's just, just this I am actually going to keep the packaging so I can hunt for it down I absolutely love it yeah it's just really nice on the skin and on the sponge with the sponge it's just yeah blows all them little shit shitty things out of the water so yeah that's my favourite and I would rate this probably a 9 out of 10 because I love it so much okay so I hope you enjoyed this video just been me blabbing on about foundation obviously everybody has their own opinions I do not you know that's for my skin everybody's skin is different you all know this because loads of people tell you in YouTube videos and you're like yep so yeah that's just something interesting um next I will probably do mascaras this on a playlist probably mascaras then I'll probably go on to lipsticks and lip glosses and oh what liquid eyeliners yes because there's been many high I've bought which are shit so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. No, I'm going to get a drink of water. So, bye!